What's going on everybody? Almost Counts Collectibles here and in this quick video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can protect your old VHS tapes and their boxes. Now I recently got the whole set of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers original VHS cassette tapes and they were in really good shape so I looked up some cases so that I could put them in there, protect them so they didn't get all dinged up or scratched up or anything like that and put them on display without them getting all dusty and I came across some really good cases. Now those cases are actually these Malco protective cases. Now I came across these on Amazon. Uh, for a 10 pack it was $12.95. However on Amazon currently as of today they are unavailable. Malco however has its own website. It also has its own social media pages such as Facebook, uh, I believe Instagram, so on and so forth. So I went to their actual website where their store is. Now they are a small business. But it appears that even the items that are selling out and becoming unavailable soon after become available again. They probably do not keep a large stock on hand. Uh, they order them and when they're sold out the smaller stock then they order more. So they should be coming back in stock soon. I will leave a link to their website and to the actual Amazon page that is currently unavailable so you can check back on both of them and see if they get back in stock. Now the protective cases themselves, um, they're great. Uh, I mean, they do what they're supposed to do. Uh, they look great. They are very similar to a Funko type, um, you know, protective box for your Funko Pops. They actually make Funko Pop protectors as well as DVD case protectors, uh, original SNES, um, Nintendo 64, and other video game cases just like these to protect all kinds of cases, uh, not just for VHS tapes. The cases are very clear. Uh, they are acid free, so they're not going to damage anything. And uh, overall, I'm just very pleased with them. Now, I only had one issue with these uh, particular cases, but it wasn't the case itself that was causing the issue. I will show you here real quick, just so you're aware. So I tried to get my Alpha's Magical Christmas inside of one of these cases and I had a very hard time. Uh, it would not go into the case. I pretty much had to force it to get it to the degree that it is in there and it pretty much got stuck. Now I can get it out of here. I'm leaving it here for example. I'll have to take the VHS tape out, collapse the box a little bit by squeezing it together so I can kind of wiggle this case out of here. Now after further inspection what I discovered was this box for Alpha's Magical Christmas, when it was manufactured, was not put together properly. They did not fold it in the correct area on the front. So part of what should be the right side of the VHS tape is actually still on the front, making the box wider than it should be. So that's why it won't fit inside the case. These cases are made to be pretty much a perfect fit. And it worked just fine with all of the other, uh, you know, cassettes and their boxes that I have tried so far. But for this one, it would not. But once again, it is not the case's fault. It is my VHS box's fault. So just check that if you have like a really old VHS box that you're trying to protect. Uh, you don't want to damage them. So just give your boxes a quick look and make sure they look like uh, the sides are the sides and the fronts and backs are the backs and it was actually folded properly when it was glued together. So that's the only issue that I have had, but once again, not because of the case. So we will actually go ahead and set one of these up. I will show you how to do it so that you don't risk dinging up your box or anything like that. Um, even putting a Funko Pop in a uh, case, you can cause damage if you're not careful. So I'm going to go ahead and pull one of these out of here. Now these actually come with some uh, protective, uh, you know, film over them, just like most of the Funko Pop cases do. We're going to leave the film on there for now. We're going to go ahead and form this. And the way we're going to do this is it comes flat just like so. Just go ahead and get your finger in between there to pop it up. And you're just going to give it a nice squeeze. All right, you're going to squeeze it so that it's kind of like a tube. Uh, you're not going to damage the case. So just go ahead and squeeze it together a little bit right there on those creases. Once you get it to where it kind of sets open like this, we're going to go ahead and actually fold it on the creases itself. You're going to bend these in so that they're not trying to warp outwards in the wrong direction. And you're going to do this with every corner. We're going to bend them down. All right, so when we're done, we should be left with a uh, nice little rectangle. It will bow in just a little bit. Now we can go ahead and fold the flaps in on both ends. So go ahead and form them, 
form the little tab that's going to go on the inside right here at the top. And then we're going to go ahead and fold the little lid in both creases. And we're going to do this on both ends. So I'm just doing the same thing I did on the other end on this end. Now, once you have everything fully formed, one of the ends actually says uh, Malco on it. All right, I use that as the top. Uh, if you wanted to put that on the bottom, that's fine, but I use that as the top. Now, we are going to leave both ends open when we insert the cassette tape into the actual case. Next, we want to grab our cassette tape itself. Now, make sure you leave the cassette tape inside the box when you put it in there. It'll keep you from bending or warping the box. The, it'll hold its structure. So I always just leave the cassette tape in there. Now, the front of the actual case right here is the side with the long flaps on each end attached to it. So we are going to face the front of our VHS cassette in line with the front of our case. Now on the inside, we have that little portion right here, if you guys can see it right here in the camera. And this is what I'm talking about. This is where the case is actually glued together right here at the tip of my finger and that is raised up. So you wanna set that side of the cassette tape in there first. So you're not trying to get the top of the case to slide up in there against it with more pressure if you already have the other side in and nick it or tear it or anything like that. Now, that might be kind of extreme, but I don't wanna take any chances with something that's in good shape. So just keep that in mind. You wanna put this side in first, just rest the edge of the cassette tape in there, line up the other side, get it started, and we will insert our cassette tape. All right, so it's on top right there. I put this side in first, and then I make sure the bottom slides in there. And then you are good to slide your cassette tape. It shouldn't take a lot of pressure all the way up until it touches the top right here. And then once you do that, go ahead and remove your film. Everything's all set up, we're good to go. It pulls right off. Make sure you get the film off of the um, folding tabs up here at the top as well. And we are ready to close the ends. So I'm gonna go ahead and close the top. I'm gonna to make sure both of these are folded down. I'm going to carefully insert this tab right here inside. Now all I'm looking is to make sure I don't jam it down into the cassette tape. So if you have to, just pull up on the case a little bit so that you can freely guide it in between the case and the cassette without dragging it across it. All right. Once you do that, just do it on the other side, the same thing. As you can see, my cassette tape isn't in perfect condition. It's flared up a little bit right here. I wanna make sure not to jam this tab down in there and rip it even further or separate it or anything of that nature. So I'm just gonna pull up on the case and warp it a little bit to make sure I can slide. I'm actually gonna put this side in first just so I can get it over the middle. Okay, and we are good. And then I'm just going to make sure it goes down the other side. As long as you're careful, you're not going to rip it. But if you get in a hurry, it would be real easy to jam one of these tabs under there or rip the box or something of that nature. So just be careful. Once you get it all the way closed, you can put the little tab in there. All right. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So I'm going to do that real quick. Carefully guide it down in there. Close my little tab. And we have a fully protected VHS cassette and box now. And these, these boxes look great. And that is my Green Ranger miniseries part three, now in a protective case. And it really improves the look of these boxes too. It makes them look a lot more sleek and shiny and clean uh, once they get inside of one of those nice looking cases. So that has been my uh, quick info and review. Once again, those are the Malco protective cases. These should be back in stock soon, most likely on Amazon as well once they restock their store. So definitely check them out if you're looking to protect your VHS tapes. Just be careful putting your VHS tape in there. Uh, just take your time, be, uh, be gentle with it. 
and uh, the, it'll go in there just fine with no damage or any risk of any or anything like that of that nature. But if you get in a hurry, you can definitely stab one of those tabs or something down into your box, rip it, tear it, crease it, uh, whatever the case may be. But if you've ever used Funko Pop protectors, um, you should be good to go here. It's pretty much the exact same concept and you'll be good to go. So that has been my quick review, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Check the description down below for all of those links, and let me know if you have any questions. I will do my best to get back to you, and until next time, everybody, I will see you next video.